Yes, sir. It's your boy B Hayes. We back with another one, guys. So get ready. Get ready for this because this sector is about to be more hotter than any sector in the entire market, guys. This is just my opinion because of the demand that's about to take place within this sector as a whole. So let's go ahead and get into it. I done mentioned this, uh, you know, a time or two on the channel, but we never got actually, actually into details onto why I'm so bullish on this particular area of the market in this sector. So let's go ahead and break it down, guys. Talk to you guys about this so you can be prepared and get ready for what I'm getting ready for. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we know, everybody should know, it's hitting, all, it's hitting us all at home. Gas prices, gas prices. Gas prices are the most expensive in U.S. history, breaking record from 2008. The average price of regular gasoline has touched four dollars and seventeen cents. Right here in my my area, our average price is four dollars and eleven cents. I seen some places out in Cali is touching seven, eight dollars per gallon. So comment down below and let me know how much your gas is in is in your city, wherever you at, wherever you from. Let's see how many different uh averages we get. So y'all know gas is going crazy right now and they talking as if this is just the beginning. It's going to continue to go up. And we've seen a few gas prices spikes in the past, but usually it'll go up and come right back down immediately. Not really immediately, but a few won't last long. This right here is a different breed, though. This is supposedly is going to last for months. And even when the gas do come back down, it's not going to come back down to a low, low, like low numbers. Like we're not going to see the prices we seen a year, two years ago. No, just from one year ago, gas is 50% up from where I'm from, where I stay. So it's insane, guys. So check this out. That's why you got to use this type of information and what's going on around you to know exactly where the herd of money is about to go next and what actually is going on. We also know oil is going through the roof. It spiked overnight to 130 a barrel and then quickly came down, lost some of those gains, and I'm pretty sure it's going to reroute and go back up. Some experts expecting it to hit about $200. So you guys already know what this is leading to. So which sector do you believe, before we even get into it, which one do you think is about to blow up? I'll wait for it. EV. Think about it. Everybody is about to get EV cars, electric vehicles. People is not going to be able to afford it. Cost me what, one hundred and ten, one hundred and fifteen dollars a day to fill up my truck. I'm not about to keep doing that. I'm gonna let you guys know right now. Hayes ain't about to keep doing that. Either I'm about to sell my truck. I just told you guys in the last video. I don't know what I'm telling you now. But either I'm gonna sell it, get me a Tesla. But I let you guys know it ain't no thing because it's still gonna be excitement and new and this, that, and third whenever I get it. So it ain't gonna be nothing. It ain't really nothing to tell. That should be simple as day. You guys know, if you've been following the channel, if you know me, I'm smart with my money. Well, I think I'm smart with my money. I make smart moves. I don't just throw my money away. I be meticulous with the things that I do, everything that I buy. I buy as an asset. I buy the right things. I buy the right shoes. I buy the right jewelry. I buy the right everything. I buy the right cars. Like my car that I bought, when I sell it, I'm going to sell it for a big profit because I bought a rare type of vehicle on Mopar. SRT truck. So they appreciate in value while other cars depreciate. But everybody getting a chance of that appreciating because just of the simple fact that everything is going up. The cost of living, cars, loans, everything. So even if your car ain't an appreciating car, it's still appreciated. So mine double appreciated if that makes sense. So you already know, guys. So anyways, not to take that out of context, but anyways, the sector, you already know what's going on. Like I say, Tesla, Tesla, Lucid Motors, Neo, EV is about to go crazy, guys. Crazy. So my thing is, this is not financial advice. I'm not telling anybody what to do, how to do it with their money. I'm just sharing with you guys openly what I'm doing with mine and what's about to make me a lot of money. And you, you know, do your own research. Make sure everything I'm saying is checking out before you make your, your moves and all that good stuff. And do, you know, think for yourself. Because let me tell you something, guys. We know, we knew exactly when Biden got in office. We knew we was going to, we knew the the the, the price of gases gas was going to surge. And also, check this out. This is what makes the whole EV thing come together. Because the number one thing that Biden wants to happen is. 
for 50% of the vehicles on the road to be electric vehicles by 2030. So what's that going to do to the EV market? Right now, at the time of this recording, only about 2% of the cars on the road is electric vehicles. By 2030, eight years from now, 50%, half, that's going to make Tesla go through the roof. Possibly one of the world, possibly not one. It already is one. Po a strong possibility Tesla is going to be the number one company in the world due to the crazy demand for EVs. And people is going to be going to Tesla. That's going to be the one of the main ones. But I'm hawking on the ones that like Lucid. I believe Lucid is going to be a real, real bread one because it has so much more growth, if that makes sense. Like you have to look at the market caps of these companies. Not saying like Tesla, it kind of, I feel like it's just going to be superior anyway. Like it's going to go, it's going to go, it's going to do astronomical returns continuously. But still, I try to look at the market cap of the company and see, you know, if the market cap, cap too big, if it's, it's, if it's already near a billion, near, I mean, not, not a billion, my bad, near a trillion. If it's already near a trillion, it's it's kind of like, you know, do you still see this company growing? Could they could they fall back a little bit? Could they pull back or what? Like you kind of, you know, it's kind of iffy. But with Tesla, on the other hand, it's not iffy. I, I believe Tesla is going to continue to be one of the biggest market cap companies in, in the world. It's going to be the number one company due to EV and the demand for it. So my thing is, guys, you most definitely want to get in EV now if you ain't already in on it, because what they doing here is all, you know, combining the two. Let's surge up price, the, the, the price of gas. Even if people don't want electric vehicles, this is going to make them get it. For the people that, oh, man, I'm gas. I ain't want no little fake car, no toy car. You now is going to get electric vehicle. You is not about to be spending Certain people with SUVs and Cali probably spending what two hundred and something dollars to fill up them trucks. I did a math. If I'm spending here at four eleven, four dollars and eleven, it's seven eight dollars there, and I'm spending one ten to fill up mine. You got to be spending two twenty. So who is going to be spending a whole check after you spend two twenty on gas? Go in the store, get your knit knack, do this, do that. You done spent three hundred dollars at the store. That's your whole check, half of it anyway. That's your half of your check for the regular working class people. You done spend half your check on gas. That usually be the smallest thing to us. You spend twenty dollars on gas, thirty dollars. So my thing is, people is going to be running to EV guys, running. So that set is going to go crazy. And AMC, AMC is ready to go crazy. AMC had a weird day today, guys. A crazy turnaround. I know you seen it. Everybody, oh, it's crashing. It's coming down. Rubbing their hands together for that nine, ten, eight dollars. Then all of a sudden. Run up to 16, live 16, 16 out of 15 cents up in that area. Like, what's going on? I already know what's going on, guys. It ain't too much more they can do. But, you know, we'll say we'll do a might do a price prediction on AMC going into tomorrow. Our expectations. But we just wanted to get this video out here, guys. Let you guys know to get ready. Be front line ready for what's about to take place and what's going on. Pay attention how these prices of gas going up and how people is about to start pivoting. And they're doing exactly what Biden wants them to do. Pivot over the EV. By 20, 30, 8 years, 50% of the cars on the road. Think about putting a buku of money in EVs now and 8 years from now. Think about the profits that you're going to have from 50% of the cars on the road being EV and you invested in it early. So, hey, I'm just a messenger, guys. Do what you want to do with the information. You already know, man. This your boy B. Hayes. Add me. Add me on here. Hit the subscribe button. Add me on Instagram. I love y'all. We out. And God bless you. We gone.